So what is blood pressure? When you measure blood pressure, you normally see two numbers, a higher one above and a lower one below. The higher one is your systolic blood pressure, representing the pressure as your heart contracts and pumps blood out from your heart. The lower number is your diastolic blood pressure, representing your resting pressure in between beats as your heart chamber refills with blood. Remember that blood pressure is not a static value, meaning it's normal to see it fluctuate from day to day. If you measure three times a day, morning, noon, and night, it's normal to have blood pressure peaking throughout the day from the morning and decrease during the evenings. While the average blood pressure is 120 over 80, it's best to aim for 110 over 70. It's important to measure your blood pressure consistently multiple times a day every day. This allows you to find your personal average to compare abnormal values to and find trends which could help in diagnosing certain conditions. For example, you could have hypertension, which is characterized by consistently higher blood pressure when compared to your average. Some people feel symptoms such as headaches, fatigues, and chest pains, while others do not. But this is why it's important to always measure your blood pressure even if you feel fine. This puts you at risk for heart disease, heart attacks, and strokes. If you consistently have high blood pressure in the morning but not at night, this could be indicative of sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a condition in which the obstruction of breathing during the night causes a sudden spike in blood pressure in the morning, which usually subsides by the afternoon. Though a sleep study is needed to confirm a diagnosis, a record of your blood pressure may help in identification of the issue. Uncontrolled or erratic blood pressure can be indicative of kidney disease, diabetes, thyroid disease, and or other stressors in your life such as smoking, night shifts, and anxiety. When you come to the office, do not worry too much about your blood pressure being higher than what you expect. The white coat syndrome might be in effect. The simple stress of being in the medical office and wanting to meet the workers' expectations and directions may cause your blood pressure to be slightly higher than your usual value. This is why we normally take two instead of one and take the average of both. We'll delve into how to measure blood pressure properly. So your first question may be, when and how often should you measure blood pressure? So it is advised that you measure blood pressure at least twice a day such as once during the morning and once during the night, as well as when you feel any concerning symptoms, including dizziness, shortness of breath, chest pain, etc. So before you begin recording your blood pressure, make sure that you have given yourself a short period to relax and compose yourself. The band should be placed on the upper portion of your left arm. The band should fit snugly but not too tight. You can check this by ensuring that two fingers can fit into the band. Click on the power button and sit still. Beware that you'll feel a slight pressure, which shouldn't hurt, but slight discomfort is normal. As the machine records your blood pressure, ensure you don't talk or move. You should measure your blood pressure twice or three times consecutively and record the average to ensure accurate results. Compare these measurements to your past recordings to see if it is abnormally high or low. When you come to the clinic, it is important to bring a log of your blood pressure readings. Specifically, the journal should include any incidences of high or low blood pressure with the date, any symptoms you felt, your usual average, and your most recent blood pressure measurement. 